Okay, hi everybody. This is part two of uh, checking for hose leaks at the back of the transom, etc. Uh, Robert was talking yesterday about issues. Anyways, let's trace these hoses. Here's your engine flush here, the black one. This is really easy to trace. This is the hose right here. It comes from the transom, the back of the transom. I've traced it up. That's your engine flush hose right there. Okay, let's go to the intercooler one. Here's your intercooler flush. Remember, we don't start the engine when we're flushing the intercooler. This hose is a little trickier to find. So, you're flushing here, the water comes in. I'll see if I can get my hand on it. It's a coiled hose to the left. I'll see if I can get my hand down there on it. There you are, okay? That's the intercooler flushing hose. Okay, when you flush the intercooler, I've traced it. I'll wiggle it here. Let's see if I can get you a little better shot. Okay, traced it around. And it goes in underneath the catch can. I'll get my hand down here goes in the front of the intercooler. I've already traced it, felt it all the way around. And there it is. I don't know if I can get my camera down there, but I'll try for you. What kind of shot it's going to be. If you look at the front of the intercooler, it's not this hose that I've, I'm resting on. You see it come around the corner. So anyways, the water comes in when you're flushing into the intercooler down in this area, that hose there. Then the water goes out the back of the transom because there's only an inlet and an outlet to get you shot. Here's the hose. That's where the water comes out when you're flushing it through that port. Here's the hose here we talked about yesterday. That blue line, that's the outlet. Now, when, when we're running our skis, the water must come in this one. It must come in this one and go out the flushing port. It must come out here. I've never looked at it, but I will next time I'm out. So you flush with the hose, the water goes in this port, right? Comes out through the jet pump, but when you're running the ski in the water, the lake, the ocean, the water gets blasted up through the jet pump, through the hose, and the water goes into the inner cooler, and it must come out this port. Because we flush with the hose in this port, the water goes in this way, into the inner cooler, and back out through the jet pump when we flush with a water hose. But when we're riding our skis, the jet pump acts as a water pump as well. The water must go through the hose there that I pointed out in the transom. Goes up into the inner cooler and must come out here because there's only an inlet and an outlet. So next time I'm out, I'll check that. Anyways, hope that helps. That's today's tip from Rod.